my husband's new favorite pasta. It took down carbonara, at least uh, temporarily it has. Carbonara, the building blocks are uh, bacon, egg, and pasta. And this dish, this is BLC uh, spaghetti, bacon, leek, and shard. We've got the bacon rendered out. I added the leeks, tons of garlic, a little bit of salt because you get a lot of salt, of course, out of the rendered bacon. A little sprinkle of black pepper. Now we're going to wilt in our shard. It looks like a mountain, but of course, just like spinach, it cooks down to nothing. So really mound the pan up and just start wilting it in. And I'll give it a little juice, a little wine to cook down into. <laughs> it's the only show probably um, in the country where alcohol and food get cheers as big as Oscar winning actors. It's like, <laughs> white wine, what? Crazy, crazy. Now, up on top of this, my husband um, liked a combo. We did nutty uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, the king of cheeses, and sharp and salty Pecorino. But either one works great. But more importantly, we put some crunch into the dish with some toasted chopped walnut. I know, to go with the nutty farro pasta or the whole wheat spaghetti, I mean, it's kind of a perfect thing. It's very important whenever you're cooking with pasta, especially dry pasta, to save some of that starchy, salty cooking water. That's the glue that marries the pasta to the sauce. So we're throwing in our starchy, salty water. We're throwing in all of our bacon, leeks, chard, garlic, olive oil, white wine. And we're finishing with fat handfuls of pecorino or parm or a combo of the two. Some of our walnuts and lots of good fruity EVOO. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, so anyway, this is my husband's new favorite. It replaced carbonara in our family. And when you're tossing pasta, you should really take it out of the boiling cooking water uh, with tongs or strain it in a colander a minute before it gets to al dente or to the, or to the teeth or to the tooth, to the to that bite that you want because it's gonna to continue to cook when you're tossing it together with your sauce. Now I have a big pretty skillet here so I'm just gonna serve right from that with the extra nuts down over the top. And then you just bring it right to the table. I know, right? Plop it down. And for John, really I would just probably take that and do that. 